KUAM Sports Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness starts with G. Isaiah Alisenko representing the NMI in Guam's Jimi Hendrix both competed in the men's 100-meter butterfly event. Alisenko came in first in his heat with a time of 54-55. Guam's Jimi Hendrix placed third in his heat with a new personal best of 56.8. I kind of died the first half, the first 50, but I still managed a like less than one second best time, which I haven't gotten in a long time. So I was really happy about that. Um, overall, I went at 56.08. Um, I kind of wish I went 55, 55.9 at least, you know, but it's still 0.8 best. So I can't really complain about that. Animized Maria Corazon Batolones. Swimming in the women's 50-meter breaststroke event, placed second in her heat with the time of 34.58. Tasi Limtiako, representing the FSM, competed in the men's 50-meter breaststroke, placing second in his heat with a time of 28.26. On the final day of competition, Israel Poppy, representing Guam, competed in the men's 200-meter freestyle event, coming in with times of 156.27 and 157.67, respectively. The 2022 Hope Camp for athletes 9 to 18 years old wrapped up at the Guam High football field. The three-day event was held in honor of Dante Baines, who played for Guam High from 2013 to 2015. We've been doing this since 2013, Coach EK and myself, and now this partnership with Game Time uh, has taken it to the next level. And so we had Coach Diaz come out, and you know he already had some kids over at um, Moore Park. And so this is an opportunity for him to come out and get first-hand looks at young folks who uh, just want an opportunity. That's the only thing we can offer them is an opportunity. And by offering them opportunity, we offer hope. The most uh, positive thing I see is that uh, they're, they're very coachable. You know, they're willing and eager to learn, and they're, they're soaking it up like a sponge right now, which is exciting. You know, come all this way and to see the passion that these young men have and the young women out here, too, that have just to come out and get better, uh, that, that excites all of us coaches. We love being able to be around athletes that are coachable. I like their, their tenacity and their desire to want to be great, and I, there's a lot of kids with a lot of talent out here. So I'm real impressed with how, how they're able to adjust and how they're able to continue to get better and want more uh, in the process. The Notre Dame Royals secured the four Pete and Girls High School Rugby. ND picked up the comfort behind win over the Southern High Dolphins 10-7. Sanaya Bell scored the game-winning try right before time expired. When I caught the pass off of the scrum, I was just thinking, run, go for it. Um, you know, at, at one point, I was thinking of stepping in to throw the Southern's defense off, but I just told myself, keep running, you're almost there, and then I placed the ball. This year, in order to win this our fourth championship against Southern High, it took teamwork, dedication, and desire. We knew that going into the, the quarterfinals, semifinals, and the championship, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. Therefore, we we put a lot of hard work and a lot of time and attention into the little skills and fundamentals of the game. Like this week we really worked hard because we knew we, it wasn't going to be easy. 14 minutes to prove ourselves and to just go out there and do us, have fun, especially for the seniors. Like it was our last year. So I feel like that was our motivation. Congrats to the Father Duenas Friars on winning the ESA GRU Boys High School Rugby Championship 26-0 over the Ukudu Bulldogs. Friars player Damian Bamba recovers the block kicked here from the Bulldogs and scored the first try. Trey Blasfields went in for back-to-back -back scores for the defending champs. Trey with the pass to a Lucius Medler who draws in the defender and passes back to Trey who did the rest of the work outrunning the defenders to get into the try zone. Trey follows that up with this big run after bobbling it on the initial attempt. Trey makes his way towards the end zone for the try. <laughs> Caleb Murphy scored the last try of the match for FD. Alex Sojo converted on three of the extra point attempt kicks. Wolves and Federates meeting up in the holiday tip-off tournament. Off the break, Federates push the ball. EJ Mori going window with the layup. Lee Ray Zapatos drives through two defenders and hits the tough shot off balance. Federates with the lead after the first half. Steal by Tex Irwin who gives it up to Mori. 
Maury two-stepping on his way for two points. Quick outlet pass from Noah Uggen to Davin Uggen. Reverse layup, eight points for Uggen in the game. Another steal by the Federates. Check out the pass from KN Nathan to Irwin. Back to Nathan, double-digit lead by Federates in the second half. Wolves never give up player Ryan Cousteau gets inside for the score. Cousteau was the second leading scorer on the team with 10 points. Noah Uggen bringing the sauce. Behind the back dribble dropping dimes. Assist to Jose Ignacio. Federates pick up the win 71-53. to Shout out to the homie Alex Denchuro who looked like he took off from the free throw line. KUAM Sports Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness starts with G.